But what, $50? Now you can have $1,000 if you match completely with uh, our celebrities because we're going to play super match with, where the big money is. We polled a recent studio audience and discovered their most frequent response to this. Ice blank. Now, if you come up with what they said most often, you win $100. Second most popular answer gets you $50, like last time. Third, $25 if you match it. You may play with any three of our celebrities and get them to guide you along your way to an answer. Who do you choose first? Peggy, please. Peggy Tapano. Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Like that. Yeah. Jane. Jane. Ice bucket. Ice bucket. <laughs> to chill the champagne in. And Barry, please. Barry Creighton. Uh, in weather like this, I would say ice cube. Ice cube. Oh, good answer. I wouldn't like to have have to make a decision there. We've got ice cube, ice cream and ice bucket. Now you mightn't care for any of those. You might have thought of a better answer yourself, in which case reject those and use your own. I have ice cream. Ice cream, you fancy. Mm. No. All right. I think you've made a wise decision, but then I'm nearly always wrong, so don't listen to me. We'll find out whether, uh, whether ice cube is there, ice cream I mean, as we reveal the $25 answer. Thank you, Peter. Ice Cube is down there. Oh, well, I would have gone for Ice Cube, so thank goodness I'm not you. <laughs> Let's reveal the $50 response, Peter. Pull it. Ice Block. Will Ice Cream be under the $100 response? <laughs> I think it will be. Pull it, Peter! Ice yeah. Cream! Yeah. Yes! You're well on your way to winning lots of money. You've won $100. Now you play for 10 times that amount. $1,000! But you must match one of our celebrities precisely. Who do you think? I'll have Peggy, please. Peggy and Helen have done it before, I think. Didn't you have... Was no. it... No? no. Was well, Stuart, why have you rejected Paul? No, I blew it. Uh, <laughs> oh, one of you blew it. Mm. Oh, and I wish you'd just play the game. And stop <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, Peggy. Um, I'll go over here to what is called the question holder because I want to take a question and ask it to you. Where else would you go? for the question, unless it was to the... <laughs> Hold on. $1,000, this is not funny. It's a whole show, it's not too funny, is it? <laughs> Blank Court, spelt C-O-U-R-T. Blank Court. Peggy's locked in, she's written her answer, and I'm sure, I just feel this is going to work. I'm just, I'm just positive because it's not all that hard. What kind of court? Blank court. Tennis court. Tennis court. <laughs> Must be the answer. <laughs> then again, there are other kinds of courts. Yes, there's a squash court. A law court. A law court. <laughs> Margaret court. <laughs> <laughs> and the time you were, Stuart. <laughs> well. <laughs> this is not the time to be having fun because poor Peggy is sweating up there. Peggy, I can tell oh, by the expression no. on your face. It's such a terrible responsibility and you've just moved into that new home and you really want that money, don't you, Helen? Yes. Um. Yeah. Yes, you've got a thousand bucks. Ah, we couldn't be more happier, if you remember earlier. <laughs> Helen's just moved into a new home. Before that, they were living in a caravan, and I imagine you need that $1,000. Oh, boy, do we. Well, it's yours forever. <laughs> no one can take that away from oh, you. All you. you can do now is go on and win more, as we continue <laughs> with Blankety Blanks soon after these messages. Some places, this is March. And in Perth, I think it's August next year. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, we've got some marvellous news. This show, it's just handed to me. This show, Blankety Blanks, is now the top rating show. How Where? about that? <laughs> That's enough. No, I'm about that. Where is it the top rating show? Where? 
Alice Springs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but we're working on the, on the other places. Carl Joy, welcome to the show. Graham, thank you. It's good to be along. What are you uh, currently doing since it's either February or March? Um, well, currently just finished an album um, of old rockers that I've always always wanted to do, you know, sort of as it was in the beginning. So it's soon to come out? Soon to come What's out, What's the yeah. title of the album, Carl? As it was in the beginning. As it was in the beginning. Be looking for that from Carl Joy. Wendy Blacklock Hello, from Graham. 96. How are you? Very well, thank you. Welcome to... I managed to get away from Daddy for the evening. Yes, I... <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today, Ronnie Shand grabbed me, which is, you know, down there somewhere. <laughs> Same place where I'd grab you. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Um, and and gave, me, gave me a tour in the other studio of uh, where 96 is done. And it was most interesting, because 96, of course, comes from here, Channel 10, in Sydney. Lovely to have you with us, Wendy. Thanks, Graham. Dave Gray. Yes. You're on three years in. Yes, uh, and having a ball. When are you on? Uh, uh, five days a week from four till six. Good God. Mm, well, that's what they said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's down here from the Willisey Show. It's Jackie Weaver. Hello, Hello Jackie. Jackie. I love you on television. Oh, thank you. I love you in the movies. Oh, thanks. I just love you. Oh, mate. Stuart, I hate you. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, Stuart Breaks. I'm appearing with this charming lady at the moment. Oh, in what? On the Dick Emery series. Oh, of course, the Dick Emery show, which is on yes. the Seven Network. That's See, right. we're very altruistic over here. We mention other sure. shows, other stars, we're all other the stations. We're same game, aren't we? Of course we are. Yes. Why do they keep editing it all out, do you think? <laughs> And Bob Moore from Channel 2, of course, Bob from Monday Conference. Bob, Hi, thank Graham. you for coming along. Pleasure to, to be with you. Thank you very much. Last time we worked together was another show called Celebrity Squares. Indeed it was. The ill fated that... Celebrity Squares. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know anyone would be standing there. I got a terrible fright. <laughs> Helen Cross. Helen's already won $1,000. And I, I love it when at the start of Blankety Blanks it's time to play Super Match because that's where the big money is. And that's what we're going to do now, Helen. And you're going to win another thousand dollars, I can feel it. Well, perhaps I can feel it after. <laughs> we... <laughs> What's wrong? It's my birthday in Sydney. Of course it is. I can feel it later. The, uh... No, we polled a recent studio audience and discovered their most frequent answer to this. Blank Rogers. Oh, I've got an answer. I've got an answer. Blank Rogers. Now, if you come up with the same answer that that audience came up with mostly, you get $100. If you match their second most frequent response, $50. Third, $25 if you match it. And you are permitted to ask any three of our celebrities to help you along, to guide you into an answer for Blank Rogers. Who first? Dave, please. Dave Gray. Oh, it'd have to be Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers? Mm. Yeah, with nothing wrong with Roy Rogers. Come on. I've heard people walking around Sydney Radio saying, Blank Rogers. <laughs> and, uh, I will settle for Ginger Rogers. Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Reminds me of an old schoolboy joke, which yes. I don't think you can do. <laughs> but the three red-headed sailors walking down the street, no, that's as far as you can go with that one. <laughs> one more. Cole, please. Cole Joy. Oh, talking about radio studios, I'd say uh, Bob Rogers. Bob Rogers, of course. <laughs> that would be a, a very New South Wales answer. It mightn't be a national answer. So we've got Bob Rogers, Roy Rogers, and Ginger Rogers. Now, you mightn't like it. You might have a better Rogers. If so, use it. Reject all those answers, have you? Or are you going along with one of them? Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. Mm. Did she do the right thing? Yes. All right, we'll find out whether Roy Rogers will win you $100 as we ask Peter, the phantom puller, <laughs> to reveal the $25 response. Peter, pull it! Bob Rogers. So, aren't you glad you didn't go for Bob Rogers? A lot of people are glad they didn't go. <laughs> Not me, I love Bob. Let's find out what's hidden under the $50 response. Will it be Roy Rogers? Pull it, Peter. Yes. It is Roy Rogers. So, you've won 50 bucks. What do you folk think the big one was? Jolly. Jolly. <laughs> Someone from the audience said jolly. Ginger? Who? Barbie Rogers. 
Oh, yes, forgot about Barbie. Let's find out anyway. What was it, Peter? Oh, it was Ginger Rogers. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We love you. We love you. A or B? Uh, Adrian. I think I'll try B this time. B in round two. Everybody plays because nobody matched anywhere. Dave Gray said, My wife is so ugly, I took her to a wife swapping party, and all I could swap her for was a blank. That's what Dave said. Dave Gray said, My wife is so ugly, I took her to a wife swapping party, and all I could swap her for was a blank. Like oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> What's wrong, Dave? A lap dancer would have done. <laughs> what did you put? Dog. <laughs> Don't give any clues. <laughs> Cole, if it's uh, there, whack her in. Jackie's in. Everyone's in except Dave. Dave, is that an oil painting you're doing? <laughs> Dave Gray said, my wife is so ugly, I took her to a wife-swapping party, Adrian, and all I could swap her for was a... Mop. From... A mop! <laughs> a mop! Yes! <laughs> the butler. <laughs> swap her for the butler. She must have been ugly. <laughs> He's a good-looking butler. Well... <laughs> uh. Well, it was a very plain wife-swapping party. An uglier one. He swapped her for an uglier one, not a mop. Got a mop? The cat. Oh, I saw a cat with, uh, with one eye this morning. Well, it was, either, it was either a cat with one eye or it was leaving the room. I'm not sure. <laughs> Jackie. Bum bum. Bum bum. Dave Gray said, my wife is so ugly. I took her to a wife swapping party and all I could swap her for was a blank. I feel really sorry for Mrs. Dave Gray, I must say, but... Mop is a match! I didn't think anyone would have a mop. Isn't that clever? Isn't Good that on you, Jackie. I'm terribly unoriginal. Dog? A dog. Dog? Yes. And Bob? Oh, Dave drives a hard bargain. A cigar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll take time, but I'll get there. Yes, yes. G'day, Cole. G'day, Graham. 